Hello, my dear sewing friends. It's Elisa here with Thoughtful Creativity. And today on a 30 minute sewing project, we are making an apron. And I invite you to think about an apron in so many more different ways than just a very traditional understanding of a kitchen apron. An apron can be a garden apron, it can be an artist smock, it can be a play apron for a child, or it can be indeed an apron to use in a kitchen. It is a very versatile thing to make, makes a great gift, and also makes a great item to sell as well if you are thinking about maybe starting a side hustle with your sewing skills. So in this video, we will draft a pattern really easy. You will see all the measurements on your screen for both toddler size and adult size. And we will go step by step on how to make it and you will be able to do it in 30 minutes or less. So let's get started. When we talk about the yardage of the fabric, for the adult size, you will need just about one yard. For the kid size, even less, of course. Now, when we talk about the content of the fabric, I invite you to think of the purpose of the apron that you're making. If you're making something for the kitchen, I would definitely go with cotton. If you're making something for the garden, maybe denim or really canvas cloth will be the best. If you're making an artist smock, maybe just a plain muslin will do. So it definitely really depends on the purpose, but I would go with something that will Will withstand a lot of washing because obviously that's the purpose of the apron and something that's also going to be really easy to work with. First, we need to draft a pattern and you will see the measurements on your screens right now. Now, if you are a member of the channel, then you do have instructional sheet with these measurements available for you as a member of the channel. Now, memberships are paid and if you are wondering what they're all about, you can always click on the join button below and it will give you a little trailer and a little overview of what kind of perks you do get by supporting the channel and becoming a member. Now, to draft the actual pattern, it really is straightforward. All you have to do is to pause the screen with all the measurements on it, copy those measurements, and get started. Now, each of the measurements has also been assigned letters, so that way it really is easy for you to understand what goes where. Now, the only two things that I don't have on the measurement chart are, number one, seam allowances for the side seams, bottom hem and top hem, but you do see me add them on this drafting as we go. Each of the seam allowances will be one inch. Now note, I am not adding any seam allowances on the curve of the apron because that's what's going to be covered by the bias tape, which brings us to the second thing that is not covered in the measurement chart, and those are the ties that we're going to be making out of bias tape. And we will be discussing the measurements for those as we get closer to sewing them. Now I will be making my apron with two separate pockets and two sets of ties, two on the top and one on each side. And of course you can make your apron any way you would like. You can make it with a curved hem, with one big long pocket, no pockets at all. Really the possibilities are endless. Just have fun with it and you can always search the internet for some ideas as well. Now let's cut the pattern out and start sewing. Now you're going to cut your pattern on the fold so that way when you open it up, you're going to have one full piece for your apron. Now the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to press the bottom hem, side hems, and the top hems. We're going to press them twice. Each will be half an inch. So that way when we go ahead and stitch them, there will be no raw visible edges and everything will be nice and neat. As I've mentioned before, here I'm folding it once, then pressing, and then folding it again and pressing it one more time. You will repeat this step for the bottom, two sides, and the top. As you're doing the sides, you might discover that the place of the corner might feel a little thick just because there's so much fabric on there. However, a little bit further in the video, I will show you how to deal with that thickness so that way your sewing machine is not going to chew it up. After that, I'm going to pin each of the folded edges with my pin needles and then I'm going to do a straight stitch on the very edge of that fold with my sewing machine. Now, to reduce the bulk at the corners, go ahead and open the folded edges and then snip this little part off. Now, this will significantly reduce the bulk of the fabric, but also still remain all of the raw edges packed inside of the folds. 
Now, when the sides of our aprons are done, let's move on to the pockets. For the pockets, we're going to do exactly the same, but only to one side. That side, to which we cut at one inch seam allowance, and that's going to be the top opening of the pocket. If you remember, all the other three sides of the pockets were cut at half an inch seam allowance, because we're going to be stitching them down onto our apron, and there's no need for us to fold them in. Here's a quick little tip. If you're using fabric that really frays a lot, you may choose to either serge the other three sides of the pockets or maybe use a zigzag stitch or an overcast stitch to prevent that extra fraying. Now you will see what I'm going to do with my pockets further, therefore I am not applying those techniques as of this very moment. Now the next step for us is to take those pockets and position them on our apron because we're going to be stitching them down. And you can do it in a couple of ways. You can use just a single row of stitches, you can use double row of stitches, or you can really have some fun and use some decorative stitches on your sewing machine. Really just have some fun, use your creativity, and it will be a beautiful apron whichever way you choose to attach those pockets. Now, I decided to go for a double row of stitches, and this is how it looks once my pocket has been attached. Now, let's talk about the ties of the apron, and this is also going to be the very last step before we finish our project. Now, these ties we're going to cut on a 45 degree angle, like we would do for the bias tape, because these ties are also going to cover the curved portion of the apron that we did not finish with a folded edge. Now my ties are 2 inches wide and for the toddler size I made them 43 inches long for each side so multiply that by 2. For the adult size 60 inches will do. Again multiply that by 2. Now to make your bias tape or the ties what you will do is you can either use a tool that you see me use right over here. I had them in my sewing room for years and years and this is something that I truly appreciate in my workflow or you can do them by hand by pressing the edges towards the middle of the bias tape and then pressing it in half one more time. If you don't have enough length or the width of the fabric that you're making your apron from, you can also use some secondary fabric, a complementary fabric, a contrasting fabric. Just have some fun and remember the ties of the apron don't have to be made from the same material. Once your ties or bias tape, whichever way you want to call it in this particular situation, are done, go ahead and take your apron and we're going to start working with the curve. Now remember that the top part of the apron will need a less length of the ties than the bottom part of the apron. So I would go one third to two thirds, depending on, of course, on the measurements of the person that you are making it for. Now you will take the right side of your ties and you will attach it to the wrong side of the curve of the apron and then you're going to stitch it with a straight stitch right in that little fold over here. Now, once that is done, you will fold this bias tape over like so, and instead of starting to stitch at the curve, you're going to start stitching it at the very beginning of the tie, then you're going to continue all the way over the curve, and then you're going to finish it at the very end of the tie. So that way you will finish covering the curve and both ends of the ties all in one go.
Now the fact that these ties have been cut in a 45 degree angle like a bias tape will give them extra elasticity and will make sure that the curve is really done nice and neat and the fabric hugs it. Now I made this apron for my little baby girl, she's two, and she absolutely loves to paint and to help me wash dishes, and an apron was definitely a long overdue addition <laughs> to our playtime, so I'm really happy that I did that. You can see on the photos how it fits, and for the adult version, it fits just about any adult because obviously you will be able to adjust the straps on top and on the bottom. And wasn't that easy? It was really easy. It takes about 30 minutes and you have a beautiful apron for yourself as a gift or maybe as an item to sell. If you're looking for more 30 minute sewing projects to make, then definitely click on the link right over here. I have a few other ones over there. Again, 30 minutes or less and makes a beautiful, useful project. I'll see you right over there, guys. Bye.